major Hurricane Douglas uh, continues to track toward the Hawaiian Islands at this time. And a hurricane watch has been issued for the Big Island and for Maui County. Uh, currently at 11 a.m., the center of Hurricane Douglas is located about 785 miles east-southeast of Hilo, or about 985 miles east-southeast of Honolulu. The maximum sustained winds are at 115 miles per hour, which makes Hurricane Douglas a Category 3 hurricane. Prison movement is on a west-northwest track at 18 miles per hour. Now, Hurricane Watch, again, has been issued for the Big Island of Hawaii and for Maui County, including Maui, Lanai, Molokai, and Kahalawe. So the Hurricane Watch uh, means that hurricane conditions will be possible within the watch area within 36 to 48 hours. Uh, therefore, uh, those who are within the watch should continue their preparations uh, and plan on getting those completed uh, as soon as possible. Interest elsewhere in the Hawaiian Islands outside of the watch area should continue to monitor the progress of this system as uh, the track continues to show possibilities of all of the Hawaiian Islands being impacted by the effects from Hurricane Douglas. Douglas is moving again on a west-northwest track. The motion is expected to continue for the next two days, followed by a slow decrease in the forward speed and a slight turn towards the west. On this track, Douglas will be near the Hawaiian Islands on Sunday and into Monday. Maximum sustained winds, again, as a Category 3. But gradual and steady weakening is expected to continue through the weekend. However, it is important to keep in mind that Douglas is still expected to be near hurricane strength as it nears the Hawaiian Islands. So uh, impacts to prepare for with uh, the potential for hurricane conditions would be strong damaging winds, surf, large surf, and heavy rainfall and flash flooding. Associated impacts from the heavy rainfall and flash flooding, of course, could be mudslides and debris, uh, debris flows. And these, these can cause life-threatening conditions. This is a serious storm, one that we need to continue to monitor. There, is a bit of uncertainty continuing in the forecast um, and really where that track goes will have a big effect on the impacts that we see on the islands. The summary is that uh, none, of the, none of the main Hawaiian islands are out of any threat of this storm and the entire state should prepare for the possibility of receiving tropical storm and hurricane conditions, possibly. Again, the earliest onset of those would be sometime late Saturday night on the Big Island, and then moving westward across the rest of the island chain on, during the day on Sunday. Again, remind you to continue to monitor for the latest forecast updates and continue to make those preparations throughout the state. At this time, we'll open it up for any questions. I have my colleague, uh, Leanne Eaton, will assist with those questions that are being submitted into the chat window. Great, thanks, Chris. We have a couple of questions that have come in. Uh, we have one from HPR asking, what effect can wind shear or cooler water temperatures have on Douglas at this point? And what do you anticipate it will do in the next day or so? So as, as Douglas gains latitude, gets further north, it's moving over cooler ocean waters. Um, the effect on the ocean waters at this point 
is not giving Douglas any extra fuel. Um, and that can, over time, allow this, the hurricane to weaken. And we do expect that weakening trend to uh, continue. It's already commenced slightly, although it's still a major hurricane. Um, we do con consider the conditions between now and, and when it approaches the state to allow a weakening trend for Douglas. Uh, that said, the effects of the cooler waters, the effects of the wind shear, do not appear to be substantial enough to, to, um, to dissipate the storm. Thus, we still have the potential for impacts of either a tropical storm or a hurricane. Thanks, Chris. We have another question. This also relates to storm weakening. As the storm weakens, how will the wind field around it expand? Do you expect uh, a broader wind field of tropical storm force winds when Douglas moves through the Hawaiian Islands? There's potential that as uh, storms weaken, they do expand. Uh, this, is, uh, this is seen occasionally with past uh, storms as they have moved through the Central Pacific. Uh, it really depends on the forward speed as well. Uh, as you have a tropical cyclone, uh, a tropical storm force type of a cyclone, a lot of times the impacts will be felt on one side of the, so the storm, and that is the uh, generally the right side of the storm as, as looking at forward motion. Uh, that will, again, depend highly upon the track of Douglas, and we can't say at this time that there will be a, a wind field expansion or where that wind field uh, definitively, definitively will be. So we need to prepare across the Hawaiian Islands for the potential for those damaging winds. It looks like we just have one more, uh, two more questions in right now. Um, based on weather records, has there ever been another landfall? Has there been, I mean, has there been a landfall on Oahu or Maui from the east before? Um, the records that I'm aware of is that there's never been a, uh, a hurricane strength tropical cyclone reach the east side, directly landfall the east side of Oahu or Kauai. We have had a uh, hurricane, of course we had Hurricane Imiki which made landfall on the south side of Kauai, but uh, the entire island did experience impacts uh, from Iniki, which was a hurricane, uh, a strong hurricane that landed uh, on landfall. So I think the focus, um, the focus shouldn't be on which side of the island uh, or islands that landfall is possible, um, but I think that the entire island should prepare for the possibility of not just the wind impacts and the high surf impacts, but also the heavy rainfall and flash flooding that comes with it. All right, we have another question asking about the hurricane hunters. When do you, ex when do you expect the results of the first hurricane hunter missions and how can this help? So we have our, uh, our hurricane hunters, the US uh, Air Force Reserves are are in route. They are expected to begin recon of the storm of the center of Douglas and the periphery uh, as early as this evening. And so that information will become part of the analysis of the storm and, uh, and a more accurate analysis will help us drive in our modeling and our outcome of our forecast. So we do expect that as that information begins to flow in, this evening that we'll have uh, a slightly better confidence in in what the prediction the output output from the models might be uh, that can give us some some additional confidence in the forecast um, and as far as the the widespread amount of impacts that we expect uh, we still would would caution uh, at that point still is a little bit too far out to to look at specific locations um, th those impacts uh, that a specific location might see uh, really won't become apparent uh, until the cyclone is, is closer in to Hawaii. All right, just one last question. 
Can you describe what some of the differences would be if the, tra if the track goes farther north or farther south? Sure. So uh, as we said, the, the center of Douglas could still pass anywhere across the Hawaiian Islands and it could still pass to the south or north. Uh, the difference in the impacts uh, from a south passing storm, uh, if still hurricane strength, would sweep very strong winds, heavy rains, thunderstorms, and high surf across all of the island chain from east to west. A, uh, a, a, across the island chain, direct impacts would, of course, also have those effects. Uh, and a northward track, one that clears the islands to the north, would have a lesser impact on the, on the Hawaiian islands, particularly further south you go. So, uh, a further north track uh, would have less impacts uh, versus a track that goes over or just slightly, excuse me, just slightly south of the island chain. Again, it's just too, it's way too early to tell uh, which track that might take. So we, we all need to prepare for the worst. <laughs> 